What's up, guys? Little Luigi here. Welcome to Stellar, episode 8.1. Round 8. We have six contestants left fighting for those 1,000 Little Luigi points they might win. And that intro was made by me, yours truly. You know it was not made by me? This fan art, the first one is from Dragonfire, and it's a pic and it's a drawing of Dragonfire next to all his mentions I gave him. Max Vecto has some fan art of his little iconic pose thing, but it's Dragonfire's icon. And he also did it with me, little Luigi. And Max Vecto also made another fan art, which was a meme of CG3K, but it was also a memorial for CG3K. And he also left me this bagels. And also, here's fan art from me of Red Fexto, which was used in the intro. Now, that's all the fan art away. And Dragonfire finally gave me his music he wanted me to use, and that's playing right now. I'll show the title of it on the screen and everything. But also, Soul Snake randomly gave me a song to use. I guess I'll use it, but only for a little bit. Instead of you guys getting power ups or winning from now, I'm, I'm gonna be mentioning you five whole times. Isn't that amazing? Five times? You get to be so famous. Speaking of mentions, the popularity contest has been updated. As you see, a certain three people have been uh, stuck to the top because of uh, a recent mentioning, and also just because the, those two people have just been mentioned a lot in one episode. But at the bottom, we have Sold Snake somehow only having 13 mentions, and our most mentioned dead contestant is Luna, of course, because the toothbrush incident. We also have an update on standard deviation. Angel is the most controversial live contestant, and Cormaniel is the least controversial. And in more data, we have everyone's overall rank. Cormaniel is still in first as a dead contestant, and our worst alive contestant is just Butter because he was revived. And also, I am Chuck. I will also be mentioning all alive contestants because they've made it this far. Dragonfire, Brandon, Sold Snake, Angel, I'm Chuck, but <laughs> that guy doesn't count because he was revived. Here, I'll mention you guys' names again. Dragonfire, Brandon, Sold Snake, Angel, I'm Chuck. Okay, I hope you guys are happy. Speaking of stats, I've made a public spreadsheet with all the stats for all the rounds of Stellar. It has things like rank, percentile, normalized rank, which is just like, if you did the best, you get 100%, and you did the worst, you get, it's like 0%. I, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but right now. And there's also word count, character count, where in the story, the rewards you got, the mentions on that round, and, oh well, the votes is just for round one, and also your sentences you made. And at the end of the stats thing, it shows the average, total average, and the total addition. So for rank, we can see that on average, Luna gets the worst rank because she just is, and Cormaniel gets the best rank, and on average, Cormaniel has the best percentile, and Luna has the worst percentile, and then same with normalized rank, and we already went over standard deviation, but for word count, Cormaniel has the average highest word count, and Luna has the lowest word count, and this happens again with the character count. Uh, where in the story letter just shows the average letter you are in the story and for most people it's F and G for some reason I don't know how to explain this But it's just how it works except for magical miles who has C and I'm Chuck who has E This where in the story as a number just shows like so one would be the end of the sentence Zero would be the start and 0.5 would be the middle as you can see Magical miles is the closest to the start because that's what's what they begin with and the closest to the end has been Butter. They also have the average mentions per video Mafia Boss is mentioned the least per video. And in total addition, it just adds up all your ranks. Adding up all the ranks really is means nothing because it's like it's just a rank and it's just it just doesn't really work. But the percentile does, so the more percentile, the better you have. And the person with the most percentile is Dragonfire. But that's just because Cormaniel was dead along the way. We also have the normalized ranks as well. Standard deviation, I, I don't really know what you would use with this. You got the word count added up all together and the character count, which surprisingly, Brandon has the best character count. You also have the rewards everyone gotten. So, uh, Logan, Luna, Mafia Boss, and Miles have not received a reward yet because at the stabber stare doesn't really count so technically I'm Chuck too 
And we also have all the sentences from each of the rounds in case you want to look at it. And we also have a second tab called All Sentences, which shows all the sentences we have and also a random sentence randomizer and a random story randomizer, which you could go up to 913 sentences. So if you make a copy of the sheet and you just click backspace on, if you click backspace on that little area there, you can generate a random story. And that's all for the stat sheet. Also, one person didn't give their sentences. Can you figure out who it is? Hmm. Anyway, the topic was a party. Everyone gave two sentences, and this is how you guys are going to vote. Remember, anyone can vote except for the host. If you're a contestant, you can vote, and if you're a viewer, you can vote. At the end of the episode, I will show it will show a list with all the sentences, and you have to list the letters that label the sentences in order from best to worst. Best being on the left and worst being on the right, and then send that in the comment below. Voting will end at July 15th, so you guys better start voting quick. Anyway, let's read the story. I walked into the party, seeing everyone with red solo cups. What are they drinking? Upon further inspection, I noticed it was Coca-Cola, but this is a high school party. I went right onto the dance floor and started to shake it, got down and funky. I, then I bumped into my first grade crush, but she's a lot more stunning seeing her at this party. I began talking to my old love, her silky hair shined in the light as I took a sip of my grape juice. No way am I going to drink Coca-Cola. Then, as we finally began to laugh, I let out a burp. She stared at me. Aw, oh, frick. Then something happened. The disco ball that was hanging above my crush fell. I tackled her out of the way, and I said, Man, we had some panic at the disco. I winced, thinking she was going to slap me for that pun, yet all I could hear was laughing. Then, to my surprise, she asked me out right then and there, and we danced the rest of the night together as lovers. What a nice, wholesome ending, but I need you guys to vote right now. Don't forget to join the Stellar Discord, it's in the description, and don't forget to comment any suggestions you guys want, and subscribe. I'm gonna do the outro now, bye!